Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Haley, and today I wanted to do something a little bit relaxed and fun because we have the quarantine going on, and basically everybody's on lockdown. So I bought makeup a few weeks ago before all this stuff started, mostly eye makeup. That's obviously why my eyes look really weird and not done. But I just wanted to sit back today and try a couple looks, try my eyeshadow palette, I have a new liner, I have some new lashes, kind of just play around with makeup and just enjoy ourselves because this lockdown has everybody going stir crazy, I know that I am for sure, and so I thought it would just be fun to play with makeup today. So the products we're going to be trying today are the Morphe 35i Icy Fantasy Palette, which this packaging sold me on it, it's just so, so beautiful. We're going to be trying the Sephora Eye Pencil to go. And I got some Lily lashes in the style MILF. Look like this. They're really beautiful. So we're gonna try those once we do some eye makeup. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can do a couple eye makeup looks. I'm thinking maybe two. And we'll just go from there and see what I can come up with. Okay, so when you open the palette, it does have one of those like protective film things on it. And it has all the names of the colors on this paper. I honestly wish they would just like put the names underneath or on top on the actual palettes easier than carrying this shit around. This is what the palette looks like when you open it. Almost just like tipped it over everywhere. Um, the colors are really beautiful. Obviously this is like a pastel kind of palette, but what I'm kind of thinking today is I'm thinking more of like a warm look for one of the looks, I'm thinking like these yellows here, this like coral color over here, um, maybe a little bit of like a pop, maybe a little bit of purple, that could be cute. And then we're gonna do like a cool tone look for the second look, I'm obviously really drawn to this color. Um, and more importantly, I'm really drawn to this because like look at that, it's insanely glittery. So we're gonna go in with the color Into the Blue, this one. And we're just going to use it on this Morphe brush. I don't know what it is. It's part of a collection that doesn't say, but... And we're going to put that in the crease. We're going to go in with the color Whiteout, this one right here. Put it on the lid, inner corner. guy down here and this is called frost bright I'm so excited oh my god oh my god watch this jenna marbles i'm definitely having a too much gene right now i'm just like glitter but we're gonna stop i'm gonna stop it there because <laughs> i need to stop There's not really like a dark color in this palette. Like obviously you can see like these guys over here are the darkest, like these guys around here. I don't know, for some reason like to me, I think that in every palette you should have like a white and a black so that you can darken and make like a little bit of like contrast if you want. Some people don't have more than one palette and so I think that all of them should kind of have like one option for that. I've been practicing a little bit with lashes since my last few videos, so I am better at doing them. Still not amazing. Um, I fit these ones earlier, they fit, I don't need to cut them. I have really long eyes. We're gonna go in with this in the waterline. So again, this is a Sephora eye pencil to go in the color 11, pure white. So now we're gonna go in and put the lashes on. There we go, that's with the lashes on. Also, first of all, these lashes are beautiful. Like, I love how full they are. I love how they're all like spaced out. I don't like lashes that have like too many clumps in them, like where they're like little bursts of lashes. I like that these kind of just look like full set of lashes. Um, like my lashes just like really heightened. I think they're super beautiful and they're super lightweight too. And they're easy, like the band is easy to work with. It's very malleable. Um, so I really think the lashes are beautiful and it makes this eyeshadow look like a lot better. I'm not claiming to be a professional. 
Um, I was just trying out the palette. I really like the glitter. It's not as intense as I thought. Like looking at it in the pan, it's like really crazy intense. On my eye, it's really not. I didn't put a glitter glue down or anything like that. I don't know if you're supposed to, it didn't say. I didn't look it up though either. So that could be a whole other problem. I think maybe my next t uh, like testing thing would be a nude liner in the waterline. I think white's a little bit dramatic, um, but it makes my eyes look really, really big. I have a whole bunch of different brushes and these don't have names, but it's like a dual ended Eco Tools brush. And we're gonna go in with the side that's called Smudge. Okay. Chill Thrill, which is this guy right here. I am gonna do that one. Right up against my lash line. Okay, uh, that one's canceled. Chill Thrill is not showing up, so we're just gonna go in with blue. Cause I can actually at least see the blue. That is the blue look. Um, I used literally, I used two colors. I literally just used two colors in this palette. I said I was gonna try to use as many colors as I can. I, I used two. Calm down. So I used this one here, which is Into the Blue, and this one here, which is Frost Bite. Frost Bright. I can't even read. That's why I hate these little things. So I used those two colors and I really like the look, um, but we are going to try a second look just because I want to try more colors and um, because I can. I'm literally on lockdown, like we can't leave our houses. I have nothing else to do. Okay, so basically I took it off. Um, there's glitter everywhere, all over my face, in my eyebrows, all over my eyes. I've covered it back up with concealer and foundation as best as I can, but that's all it's gonna come off for today. Until I like properly wash my face later tonight, which like I'm not trying to do right now, I wanna try another look. So for now, if you see glitter and you're like, oh my God, there's glitter over, please just leave it alone. I tried my best. It is what it is. I have to just like walk away at some point. So back into the palette, we're gonna go a totally different direction now. So we're just gonna grab um, this brush here. This is a Morphe M441. And I'm going to go into this this coral color here, um, which is called Coral Cloud. And we're going to, same thing as before, I'm gonna just pop it into my crease. Okay, and we're gonna just take the, our M4, sorry, M224, which is just like this paddled brush. I'm gonna go in with the concealer. And then we're gonna take the color here, Wishful, which is just like a matte, very pale yellow. And I'm going to put it right until about halfway. Now we're gonna go in with this guy over here, and that's Dreamer. And we're gonna take it on M433. Snow Glow, this yellow here. And kind of, um, I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and try to like wipe away any like really gross fallout I had here. I'm going with white out and a little bit of this other one here, which is right below it. It's called Brilliant. So clever. I'll pop it here. There are the lashes on. I like this color combo, honestly. I think it's really pretty. I think the lash line, the underneath, I'm gonna do purple because that's fun. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of white out and pop it up here. This. So I think that it looks really pretty. I really like the coral. I like the purple too. The colors are really, really beautiful. I think these ones turned out better than the last ones. That green in the last look, it didn't even show up. So overall, I would say this palette, I still have to play with it a lot, obviously. There's 35 colors in here. I used eight of them. Um, I think that 
this look turned out nicer in my opinion maybe other people are gonna be like oh my god i love the glitter of this one it's definitely less intense than i thought um i really like this purple i liked the this is probably my favorite shade of all the ones that i use this coral cloud color i just put my nail in it i wish that morphe would put the names like on the actual palette i don't think it was any more expensive than regular morphe palettes and considering the fact that like the packaging is like totally totally different you get this instead of just like the basic morphe palette this morphe palettes look like this this one obviously looks much different. I like it. I think that it's also a cool collector's item. I don't think there's that many pastel palettes that are like this big. So this will definitely be one that I'm keeping in my collection. I love this little component. It's super like easy to throw in a bag. It's easy for traveling. I love the lashes. I think they look really nice, really easy to work with. I think they're really lightweight too. Like you don't even really feel like they're on your face. This Sephora eyeliner, it's fine. Like I don't, I haven't worn it long enough yet to tell if like it's actually gonna last all day if it's like worth it I think this was like six dollars though. So for like a six dollar liner like it's not a big deal I think that these looks turned out really nice. I think that they're basic obviously I didn't do anything crazy fancy But you definitely have to finesse them a little bit more than I would like other than that I think it's a really great purchase. I would buy all of these things again I don't think there's anything that I didn't really like this doesn't perform the exact same way that other Morphe palettes perform and so maybe this is not as good of a palette but I like the colors and I like the aesthetic and I like it for a collector's item. But yeah, I think that's all for today. So I hope you guys are staying safe and having a good time in your quarantine. If you're quarantined, if you're working, please be safe and thank you so much for everything that you're doing. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye!